It's your friend T back with another message for you to help motivate you and to encourage you to live an alcohol-free life uh, in your 50s and beyond, right? So I want to talk about last night was New Year's Eve and I was at a, I was at a party, a little house neighborhood party, and uh, I, I was catching up with a woman, a friend of my neighbor's, and I, I only see her a couple of times a year, and um, just through happenstance, she was trying. She she was celebrating her one year sobriety. She stopped drinking on New Year's Day, 2022. So just hit pause there for a moment and just think, just think, wow, what a year would feel like, right? If you're thinking about this, like, so she's sitting there, a year of sobriety, and I started asking her some questions and stuff. Her and I didn't didn't talk or work together or do anything. Just just friendly stuff, right? As far as this year. I've been sober a little over four years, so it's always refreshing when I hear someone newly sober or a one year in to kind of see what, what they consider their highlights and what they dealt with, and then also some of the benefits. And, and, and it reminded me of that feeling, right? And I want to share that with you, right? And, and along with some takeaways at the end. Of, of moving forward so first off she talked about the most important thing is 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 how much of a struggle it was for about six months you're in the shit for about six months and she didn't even really think that she was uh, I'm sorry but the sun the sun's coming up on New Year's Day right here in my face she didn't even really think that she was physically addicted nor does she think she was today but just to let you know that the mental mind game that she had to go through for that six months or so was very, very, very hard on her, right? Dealing with friends and family and situations and taking people. Uh, she has a, a type of job where she has to take clients to lunch or dinner, right? And dealing with that sort of thing. So there's a lot of things to navigate and things that you're not aware of. And then you also have that demon in your head that makes you think that everyone's staring at you when they're probably not. Talked about it like today. I'm like, so so what are you thinking about next year? You know, she's like, well, really, uh, the, re the rest of the year has been easy. Uh, I, I, it's like I, I put forth very little effort and I just I just. I've got my new routines and my new identity and I just kind of cruise through life and and I don't drink alcohol. It's just part of the thing, right? So uh, I thought that was kind of cool to hear because that's how I feel. When I when people celebrate or, or congratulate me on four years, three years, really the, the work, the congratulations comes from that first three to six months where you really got to put in the work to kind of get, 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 your, get the alcohol away from you. But that just kind of begins life because everything is good on the other side and you get to deal with other things in your life and sort of figure things out. Uh, it's like it's like it's like waking up on a sunny day like this. The without alcohol, the clouds have been removed, and you're 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 you've got the sun on your face, and it's a good feeling. But what I found interesting is uh, so let's talk about some of the benefits before I go to the to the interesting part. Some of the benefits that she mentioned were uh, just mental clarity, obviously, just control of her day. Of like when she wakes up in the morning she writes a to-do list knowing that she's not gonna open that bottle of wine meaning that at seven o'clock at night she really is gonna uh, work on a project or do something for work or she's gonna really attack the kitchen like she's been promising herself uh, whatever the case may be uh, more present with her kids uh, engaged with her kids uh, she just feels just just all around I, and, then, and then another one she said was confidence like just the confidence not cocky, but just like like pull your shoulders back. Like, hey man, I can I can take like there's not much the world can throw at me that I can't handle. And uh, and if it does, I do find myself in the shit. Uh, I'm not turning to a bottle. I'm turning to myself uh, to work through it. And I have clarity to sort of thread this thing out and figure out what the best course of action is. So those are some cool things. And 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 then on the other side of that which is what I'm going to title this video is why not drinking alcohol is normal. Our society is so fucked up. So get this. So I'm sitting there listening to her and she's like, yeah, you know, I'm so glad I ran into you because I know you don't drink. I, you know, I'm summarizing. We talked for about 20 minutes and because I've been getting a lot of my friends now that says, hey, you've done it a year. This is a very common theme I hear with people. You, you've been sober a year. You've proved to yourself that that you can do it so are you going to start drinking next year or are we going to start hanging out and going to happy hours again and i'm and i just listened to all the great things she told me about her life post alcohol right no struggle uh anymore uh 
time with her kids, job's doing better, her health's getting better, she's working out a heck of a lot more, all the rest. And I just thought to myself, man, society, our culture has just got it so fucked up when it comes to alcohol. So let me frame this for you so, so you can see what I mean, right? If she just recovered from doing heroin for a year or cocaine, and, and, and uh, would, they, would her friends be going up to her saying, hey man, congratulations on a year of sobriety with uh, not doing drugs. Uh, you want to do a line of coke? You know, it's like, what the fuck? Or, or in our world with, with losing weight, it's like, hey, I just lost 100 pounds this year. It's been a great year. I feel awesome. Da, da, da. Awesome. Let's go get some pizza and donuts tomorrow and celebrate. It's like, what? What the fuck are we thinking? Right? So my point of this, let me, I'm going to narrow this in a little bit more, is when you don't drink alcohol, you get labeled as someone that has a problem. Right? What you're doing by not drinking alcohol is is you're not drinking a poison called ethanol. Look up Wikipedia alcohol slash ethanol and you'll see what I'm saying. That, that's, that's the, there's, you know, the sugars and the beer and the wheat and whatever the hell else is all in there. But at the end of the day, the thing that you're trying to ingest to make yourself buzz is this ethanol, which is a fucking poison. It is literally a poison that you're putting in your body. And, and, and so the world has told us that, oh, you're doing something healthy for yourself and you're the one that's fucked up. You're over there, they other you. And all of us over here, we're the normals drinking this poison. It's like, what? Like, if you quit smoking cigarettes for a year, are they gonna say, oh, let's celebrate and smoke a pack to tomorrow and celebrate your one year of off cigarettes? It's like, no, no. Not drinking the alcohol is the normal activity. That is the healthy, normal activity. All the other fuckers, are doing things that are harmful. They can say they have it under control. That's fine. You want to choose to, if you choose to do bad behaviors, bad, that's a judgy statement. I'll reframe the statement. Do things that are harmful for yourself. Known things that are harmful, which we all do. We speed probably when we don't want to speed. We eat shitty food sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, on the scale of one to 10, how bad it is if you have one drink a year, right? But the point is, don't gloss over it that, that you're doing something that contributes to health. The why is pretty important. Why are you drinking that alcohol? So I just want to encourage you, uh, if you're at the start of this journey and you want to look forward and you, and you, and, and, and which it's, it's better to probably stay in the moment with yourself. And I'm just saying that, like, what does it look like? I want to frame this up for you. Your feet are on the path to, to a life that's probably more, it's not just about the alcohol is my point, right? So Holly Whitaker, my, my favorite person in the world when it comes to addiction recovery and, and alcohol and all the rest, is like uh, you're building a life that you don't want to escape from, right? And, and this woman who I met with last night or just hung out with, uh, she's built a life for herself with her kids and with her husband and with her health and with her job even that, that she's like, yeah, I feel great. And her skin was so, her eyes were so clear and, and uh, just vibrant. And she was so engaging in conversation with me. I'm like, wow. Like I'm in a room on New Year's Eve, if you can imagine 99% of the people are, are pretty buzzed, if not moving towards drunk and having a conversation with them. And I was trying to engage with some of these people because I haven't seen them in a while. And it was hard uh, to, because they're, they're not, they're, they can't, they, it was hard for them to stay focused on what we were talking about. And she and I were just like, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, man, skin looks great. She looks healthy. Eyes are just vibrant. She's engaging, talking about how awesome it is with her kids, all the rest. And I'm like, that's it. That's it right there, right? And, and, and there's, just, there's, just, there's just nothing there. So if you choose this life to move forward with being alcohol-free in 2023, what I'm saying is you're the normal. That's a normal behavior. That is a normal response to something that is harmful. You're reducing harm in your life. You're going to get rid of things. Uh, and, and at the end of the year, uh, you're not going to celebrate with having booze. And, and that's the other thing. Let's take that year and shove it down to a week. Oh, hey, I just finished my first week. I didn't have a beer. Let's pop a bottle of wine and celebrate. See what I'm saying? Right there. It's like, boom, question that. What the fuck is that? Who said that? Who's in you that says, I should celebrate not drinking with popping a bottle of wine? That is the part of you that wants to drag you back in the shit. And you're going to be like, fuck that. 
all right? I know uh, I cuss on my channel and that uh, that's just who I am. And so if you can't you can't if I don't if I'm not vibing for you because that's who I am, then I get it, you know, and all the rest. And if you're someone that um uh, who's watching this and and you don't have a problem with alcohol and you don't like what I'm saying, you know, just move on, man. Just move on because I'm telling you, uh, I, I know there's, I'm making this video for someone out there, right? Not for everyone. I'm making it for you. And if I can be of help, I'm going to put up my email address. And in 2023, I'm committing to my community, uh, which is very, very small. You know, this is not what I do full time. I have a job. I'm I, this is my neighborhood that I live in. Like I'm just a normal dude. But I'm gonna start sending out encouragement emails, and and I'm gonna start recording some audio uh, in a podcast feed. I wouldn't call it a podcast. What I would call it is uh, micro encouragement motivations for you to stay alcohol free. And I'm gonna put a couple links down below. And if you want to, to kind of stay informed, let me know. If you need some help and you want to talk about this, of like putting a plan together or something, just email me. Email me and I will do my best. Uh, I'm working through this. Um, but sometimes, just sometimes, you just need someone to kind of walk with you. Just a few steps to kind of push you, just kind of push you on your way. And I want to be that person for you. So let me know. Uh, thank you so much. Let's get this done in 2023 and beyond.